Hello, YouTube. This is Arc Sim Music. Uh, just doing the Arc Sim part of my channel here today. Um, really quickly here, the project I'm designing is called Chateau de Isla Petite. It's in the um, Isla Paradiso uh, township, if you will, part of the Island Paradise uh, expansion pack. Music, really quickly playing in the background right now is a track called Arrest Me by Exos Beats um, and the second song is also by Exos Beats is called A Graffiti really talented producer check him out, his link, the link to his channel um, will be in the description so for this project here um, just working on this neat little house on a really small lot I wanted to challenge myself so I am using a um, quite petite lot here I'm working on the exterior right now I know I wanted a basement garage I kind of wanted this look kind of little entry uh, court thing here the roof sucks right now it does change probably like 30,000 times <laughs> uh, I do have along with the basement garage a little kind of basement area that ends up being um, kind of a workspace for your creative sims. The thing that I find extremely interesting about um, architecture and interiors and even urban planning and urban design, which is what my education's in, um, is the kind of conversation that they have between each other so the interior and they usually think like the interior hears from the exterior and the exterior influences the interior but they really play on each other and you kind of see that as we move along here in the video um am right now just working on the layout of the space um the upstairs kind of carving out the bedrooms here where the bedrooms, bathrooms, and closets and stuff are going to go. In total, it took me about three hours to finish this lot. Which, I'm not really sure if that's a long time. I do like taking my time when I design and I kind of get in my zone and lose track of time. But uh, recording my process, it really kind of showed me how long it really does take me to do things. And this isn't a very big lot at all, so... Some of my bigger lots take <laughs> days. Um, well, just uh, kind of trying to make this basement garage a little bit more flush. I was going to add an observatory in that top level there and put like a telescope and stuff, but then I decided that eh, it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. Just carving out the garage, or yeah, the garage here in the basement. I'm kind of figuring out on this first floor where I want things to be. Now, I know I wanted that to be the living room because I had one at the fireplace there in the front of the house. And I knew that I wanted the, the dining room to be near that. Man, I love that creative style tool. Um,. I tear that thing up whenever I'm designing I use it like I've never I don't think I can say that I've designed a lot and not used it once and I was kind of disappointed when I found out it wasn't going to be in the Sims 4 I mean I'm suspicious about the Sims 4 but I was suspicious about the Sims 3 too so <laughs> I'll probably end up getting it throwing in a half bath down on that first floor um, in real design as well as in some design it's always nice to have a place for your guests to go to the bathroom where they don't have to walk through your whole house so i like throwing that little half hole in there it's also a really good way of dividing the space up as well i'm just working on that kitchen area um it is a really nice size space and in the kitchen area is kind of where you see that the interior is influ influencing the exterior so i did delete those two windows and add one of the those little high windows up there um, still wanted a window there still wanted to let some light in but needed more counter space 
and throwing in this island here to break up that big large expanse of space there which was and it's also kind of a little neat eat-in area that I kind of liked now I finally came back to the roof roofs are one thing that I just loathe them and try so hard to ignore them and <laughs> never works they always demand their attention so um, that's the final one I came up with I probably was working on that forever and now I'm back inside working on the master suite um, I did want it to have a uh, white and black theme with some metal and blue inspirations in there so that's what I'm working on now and that's why I love that creative style tool because you can use that same bed in every room but still each room can still have its own like identity I'm, I'm bummed about that you can probably tell I'm not gonna keep complaining about it because like everybody else I'm probably gonna end up buying the Sims 4 anyway I'm hooked. I'm addicted. <laughs> yeah, I really think that closet's a neat idea. I got that from Krill Sims 3. Uh, one of his designs. I don't know if he's the first one to come up with it because I've seen it in a lot of other channels. But it's it's a really kind of neat way to have a closet. Have that real, realism there even though it's not functional. I really like the way that bathroom turned out too. Now we're going and we're working on um, the second room, which is a little girl's room. It's going to have a lot of pink inspirations in there. And I'm just always curious as to like what, what everybody does when they're, you know, either building home, building homes or playing the sims like I listen either I'm listening to music or I'm watching slash listening to other simmers um either design or let's plays um I hardly ever do it in silence I hardly ever play the sims in silence sometimes when I'm actually playing the sims like actually playing with the sims and not building um I do like to um just listen to my sims talk <laughs> like the, listen to their simlish I forgot to put curtains in the master suite so I went back to do that for smaller lots too it's a lot easier to um, add a lot of detail in there without your computer looking at you like you lost your mind <laughs> So this is the third and final bedroom. It's supposed to be like a little boy's room. So, um, yeah, just let me know if you even want to see like the process work. Um, a lot of my other videos actually don't really have process work. Some of them will. A lot of them don't just because it it's, it actually takes me longer to design like that um, and put the videos out. It takes longer to do that. And it's kind of slows my computer down a little bit. But just let me know if you like seeing that, if you or if you really don't. Because um, that'll save me a little bit of time to be able to put out more more, more things in theory anyway. So um, in our process video here, we're down on that first floor. Just kind of finalizing things. Um, picking the final flooring, final wall. Uh, coloring. Um, using that awesome creative style tool to um, make everything kind of look like it all belongs together switching some stuff up there and that uh, we're working on the den area which uh, I think is kind of neat it's kind of separate from the living room, which the living room has like the, it's kind of like the formal living room. It's kind of separate from that. It's more like a den. Now we're on our, going down to our lower level here, just adding in like a little kind of creative studio for your sculpting sims, your artistic sims down there. Um, and uh, we're kind of coming to the end of the process work here. So um, we are going to have like a little walkthrough video. 
um, at the end here. And just thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your input and support here. And um, I added a winery down in the low, in the actual basement because I love them. Um, again, thanks a lot. And I hope you enjoy the remainder of the video here.